Hello, I'm Sunny Sadie. Welcome back to another vlog if you are new here. I am currently getting ready to go to the gym. Today is Wednesday and Wednesdays are my day off, so I wanted to bring you along. I don't know what I'm doing today, so we're just gonna wing it. I tried out a new heatless curl option from Ulta and the one I ordered originally was from Amazon and it's really, really thick and crunchy, so it's just way too uncomfortable to sleep in. So I wanted to try this one out and you can see that it's so soft, but biggest flaw that I discovered is that it's just not long enough. So I think if you have shorter hair or maybe like a little bit finer hair, this would be incredible because it was really comfortable to sleep in. But I had to wrap it super, super tight because I ran out of room and at the bottom I was like, Grr. so overall I feel like this could be a good heatless curl option. It just depends on how long your hair is. So if you have any heatless curl options that you like, let me know. As I get ready, I am watching House because I'm rewatching all the seasons. And right now I'm on season six. I'm waiting for House and Dr. Cuddy to get back together. Or like to get together for the first time because I know that has to happen. And then I'm drinking a mini Alani new. I love these small ones and I'm thinking I might go to a coffee shop later to get out of the house so that way I don't feel guilty about having more caffeine later. For breakfast, the usual scrambled eggs or just eggs in general and then avocado toast or I'll do toast with jelly or something. I'm thinking about doing a mic'd up workout but I just need to figure out if this is connected to my camera or not. So I'm gonna go over here and whisper, today is back day. I'm still not convinced, so I'm gonna go over here in the kitchen and drink my mini Alani new and make sure it really is picking up my voice. <clears throat> I'm not very good at technology. <laughs> per usual, I've started my warm up at the apartment. I did some mobility and now I'm going to do a quick warm up movement, actually, four of them. I learned this from Scott University and also Andrew Locke. I don't know if that's how you say his last name, but I've learned a lot of stuff from Dr. Aaron Horsage, aka Scott University. So I'm going to start, I like putting my forehead on something because then you can still breathe because you are going to be laying down. I'm going to first do where I raise my arms off the ground like this, think football goal post, and then I'm going to do a variation where my shoulders are in internal rotations. They're palms up and then I'm going to reverse it and do palms down and then the last variation is going to be a T-raise so just straight out to the side and whenever I do this I am making sure that it is super slow and controlled and then I'm holding at the end range of motion for about five count so this is what it'll look like raise so I still think shoulders back not rounded forward and then into internal rotation palms are up and you'll be able to keep your arms closer to your side when you're doing internal Externally rotate the shoulder. Now my palms are down. When I raise, I think about squeezing my shoulder blades together. My back is definitely a weak spot for me and I probably should do this every single day, but I try to do it on the days that I lift upper body. I got these little hand weights at Target and they were in like that dollar section. I know it's not considered a dollar section anymore. I don't really know what they call it, a seasonal section. But I got these for super cheap. However, you could always use light dumbbells, so two to three pounds. And you also, if you're at the gym, you have the actual weight plate. Like our garage gym has 2.5, so sometimes I'll use those. But think really lightweight for this. This is just a warm up exercise. You're never gonna load it super heavy. Okay, I'm finally gonna go walk over to the apartment gym. This has been a very slow morning. I cleaned the whole apartment got ready, ate some breakfast. So it's 
11.30, which I usually try to work out not this late, but that's okay. So I just need to share that I am obsessed with two people right now for listening on Spotify. Neither of these albums are super new, I don't think, but I just started listening to them this fall and I just have them on repeat. So the first one is Noah Kahan. I feel like I'm not saying his name right. I know his most popular song is Stick Season, but I am super into Northern Attitude and Dial Drunk and he just has so many good, oh, Homesick. Okay, and then totally changes genre. I am obsessed with NF's newer album, 2023 album. I didn't realize he released one this year. So the song Hope, by far my favorite one on the album and that is 100% what I'm going to be jamming to today. So if you have not listened to either of these albums, you need to. The lighting at the apartment gym is usually pretty trash, but that's all right. We're gonna start with kneeling, single arm lat pull down. Right now, that's just a warm up weight. So I'm gonna do one set of eight with a little bit lighter weight. You wanna be far enough back so that you can get a nice stretch on the lat. And sometimes I like to put my hand on here just so that I can feel the engagement. And I'm initiating the movement with my shoulder blade. So think shoulder blade back in your pocket. And you can see that my elbow is not moving at all right now. It's all coming from my back. During my rest set, which I usually make about two minutes, we're gonna talk about caffeine real fast because I had my Alani new earlier. Why do people take caffeine? Because it enhances alertness and concentration. In regards to working out, it can reduce the perception of fatigue, which is pretty cool. And this is from my textbook at school and I've heard this recently on a podcast, but the National College Athlete Association considers caffeine a restricted substance and limits urine concentrations to 15 milligrams per liter, which is equivalent to five cups of coffee, which is a lot of coffee in my opinion, but maybe not to others. So they limit to about five cups of coffee consumed within a few hours before testing. If your urine has more than that in it, then you are disqualified from competition. So I thought that was pretty interesting and wanted to share. Our second movement is gonna be a dumbbell row with our knee on the bench. This is nice if you've ever had any lower back issues because now your back is supported. There's a few other ways to do it, but just a side note. So same thing, I'm gonna do a warm up set. Today is November 1st and I saw on Starbucks that they have these seasonal drinks come out for Christmas. And I've been excited for that for probably like a month at this point. My mom's calling one second. I ended up finishing my workout pretty quickly because my mom called and I wanted to chat with her. So I just finished it off camera and then I did the elliptical for a bit longer while chatting with her. I ordered a few sweatshirts and they came today, so I'm going to probably wear one of these to a coffee shop. I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop that I've been to a couple times. It has the good, like has a lot of seating options, and I feel like it's just a good place for today since it's pretty blah outside. I ordered, I can't remember if this one was like, actually women's or if it was men's, but it was supposed to be... I tried to order them so they're nice and oversized. Also, it's crazy how expensive these sweatshirts are if they're not on sale. Thankfully, they were. But like, oh, I can't remember, like $70 for a hoodie? I'm way too cheap. Okay. I wish the sleeves were a little longer because I have long arms, but I guess they do fit. I'm gonna look in the mirror. <laughs> I just wanted some sweatshirts since it's winter and a big oversized sweatshirt is so comfy. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm always very 
picky with sleeves because I am long limbed and I hate when it like oh I hate that feeling so I want them, I want them like halfway down my hand if I can all right let's try another one I love sage green everything this one is a woman's so I got extra large and it's a little bit of a different style and I think I might like this one more <laughs> okay see sleeve check love that it's like it's a good oversize not too ginormous okay I definitely like this one more coffee shop just closed I was there for two hours because I got there a little bit before three and closed at five and I messed up on my drink I ordered the wrong thing I don't know I was just in the moment being like what should I pick I've been on a latte kick however I got the sugar-free caramel and I feel like sugar-free caramel is never good I mean I still finished it but it was not delicious and that's okay I learned my lesson I will not get sugar-free caramel maybe ever again but now, I didn't do any school prep or anything like that. I just edited a vlog because that's what I felt like doing. And today's my day off. So, you know, you just want to do all the stuff that actually sounds like fun. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's now because it's really close by. And I'm just going to pick up something for dinner because Ryan doesn't get home until usually around 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. And we don't have a ton of food. So, I'm just going to get something quick, easy, and yummy at Trader Joe's. A quick Trader Joe's rundown. I was fast. I didn't even grab a basket because I knew that I didn't have a bag, so I wanted to be able to carry it all out. I love these. Every time I go, I almost always get them. They're just so good. Everything I bought is very much a easy dinner. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Ryan really likes curry. I personally don't. I don't know. If I just, mm, the flavor is weird. But Ryan really likes it, so I got him these and then also some non-bread in case he is hungry when he gets home. And then I got multiple of these green chili chicken bowls. I think they're really yummy and just so convenient. And then I got, I've never had this before, but basically just a quesadilla with corn and beans, I believe. But I thought it would pair well with the bowl. And then I picked up a dessert because... I really want something sweet and I have such a sweet tooth in general. Actually, Ryan has one even more than I do. But I've never had these peanut butter crispy rice bites. I can't remember. Oh, scotch roos. Is that what these are called in the Midwest? But I mean, these are usually so good. So lastly, I always get these. My best friend, Ariane, introduced me to them. When I visited her in Oregon over the summer, she had three bags of these. And ever since then, I get them. And... I mean, they sound super weird, spicy tempura seaweed snack, but the flavoring is really good, and it is a little, it is a little spicy, depending on how your spice level is, but I don't really think they taste like seaweed. They have a delicious crunch, and there's only like four left. <laughs> the daylight is leaving, which is so sad. It is almost six so I think I'm gonna take Kingsley for a second walk just before it's pitch dark out even though I'm really hungry but we're losing daylight quickly here Kingsley went for his walk I am heating up dinners right now 
Now that it's dark out pretty early and daylight saving time is this weekend, I'm trying to be like in bed by 8 p.m. whether dinner's ready. So I'm trying to be in bed by 8 p.m. If I, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, like I could be watching something and I could be reading something, but that's just my winter time goal. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending my day off with me. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next vlog.